he taken? Bueno, bueno. Yeah, yeah, bueno, yeah bueno. thank you. I'm Paul Zerdin, I'm 42 years old, I'm from London, and I'm a ventriloquist. Bueno, bueno. People are pretty perplexed, bueno, shocked bueno. when you say ventriloquist, because it's not bueno. normal. It is, you know, it is a weird thing. I understand that. Uh, I was always a strange kid. Uh, I like dressing up and um, and showing off. And I used to do magic as a kid. Bueno, bueno. I started putting on um, puppet shows for my friends. I was a massive fan of the Muppets, and in particular Sesame Street. I've always seen America as the entertainment capital of the world. So to be here now, it's a big deal. Bueno, bueno. Yeah, he's doing all right. Yeah, he knows the pressure's on. He better be funny. You just don't know, do you? It might be a disaster. <laughs> Get out there, have a good time. Can't wait to see what you bring. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening to you. What is your name? My name is Paul Zerdin. Nice to meet you. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. It's fantastic to be here. And what is your act? What is your talent? I'm going to do some ventriloquism. Ooh, I love that word. So hard to say. Ventriloquism. <laughs> yeah, you said it You well. love to say that too. I can't say it say properly. It. Ventriloquism. Ooh, that was perfect. <laughs> it was? Ventriloquism. 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 I see your lips moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that uh, a ventriloquist, uh, one America has got talent. I saw that. Terry, he was fantastic. Terry Fader. I think he makes like a hundred million a year. In Vegas. So I hear yeah. in Las Vegas. Okay. Is that your dream? Yes. That's what definitely... is your dream? <laughs> <laughs> to make a hundred million? That is more than I own at the moment. Let's yes. Let's start with one. Yes. On winning this one. Okay, we can't wait to see it. Thank you. You know, you can have fun being a ventriloquist, right? This is what I like to do to confuse the sound man in the sound check and make him think the microphone has gone out of sync. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome my friend, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Sam Seller. Hello! Not me then. Oh my word, what the heck? Sam, here we are. America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent! Look, look, look! Who are these people? These are the judges. They're staring, it's rude! They're staring! <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait! What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, they're all staring at you. Really? Yeah, they're looking at your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, they're all looking to see if your mouth is moving. Really? Yes, but you can't tell that way because sometimes his mouth doesn't move. My mouth doesn't move. <laughs> and you wonder where the heck is the sound coming from? <laughs> so, um, tonight, 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 Would you not talk when I'm talking? Don't worry, you're not that good. <laughs> now, hey, what? Look at the ladies. What? Mel! Hello! Heidi! Hi! Hello! Hello. How about you two ladies coming back to my suitcase? <laughs> that oh, is thanks. the luggage of love. You know, once you've had puppet, you never go back. Well, that's <laughs> <a puppet. laughs> Too far. I apologise. Time out. That was too much. Oi, what? You want to come back out? No, I'm going to move on. Please let me come back out, please. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Okay. Okay. Look. Look. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Look. Look. Seriously. Seriously. Stop it. 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 <laughs> You're pathetic. You're pathetic. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot! <laughs> I can't do that. No. <laughs> I'd like to put something out to you. I'm a grown man standing here on stage having a conversation with some luggage. <laughs> and you're going for it. <laughs> That's all from me. You've been absolutely lovely. Thank you. I mean, 
mean, Paul, that was really, really, really good. And yes, you're right. We were all staring at your mouth, and it was not moving. Fantastic. Not only were you a good ventriloquist, you were a great ventriloquist, and here's why. All eyes are on you, and you're up for real inspection, and you came through five-star inspection, and I'm excited about that performance and you participating in America's Got Talent. Very difficult, very good Thank material. you, thank you. I mean, I think you just did everything, and did everything really, really well. I mean, you got all us four to stand up, you captured everybody in this room, which is a hard thing to do. Bloody great. Yeah, that Mel was saying she liked it, in case you don't understand the accent. <laughs> <laughs> you were funny, you're talented, yeah. you seem like a really nice, nice guy. guy. You do. I want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, the four of us gave him a standing ovation. Let's just vote together, all right? Without moving our lips. One, two, three. Yes. Good job. See you in the next round. Can't wait. Thank you. Wow. I'm a bit bowled over by it, but um, yeah, the reaction was fantastic. That was good. Oh, wonderful. That was great. Hey. Hello. Oh, no, he left him in the suitcase. Please, somebody. Nick. That's cute. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Since I was a kid, I remember watching The Muppets and Sesame Street, and I just remember being absolutely captivated for a Christmas present. I was actually given a book on ventriloquism and a stuffed toy, and I cut the back out, and I took the stuffing out, and I made it into a hand puppet. So when all my friends were out chasing girls and I was in the mirror learning A, B, C, D. You know, and why anyone would want to do that, I don't know. But I decided that that was, you know, that was for me. I've now been doing this for about 25 years and I've come to America's Got Talent because if you can make it here, then you've really made it. You can have fun being a ventriloquist, right? This is what I like to do to confuse the sound man. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's not working. I've got so much more I want to show, and I've been given the opportunity now. This is my chance to make my childhood dream a reality. Good evening. How are you doing? Shh. Why? Not so loud. Baby sleeping. Oh, you brought. Oh, it's bring. Oh, you brought. Really your... Sorry, I couldn't find a babysitter. <laughs> Fantastic last time. Thank you very much. Why are we while whispering? <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> Sorry, be right with you. <laughs> hey! What? That mirror! What? That mirror's not working! Mirror? That's not a mirror! That, that's Howie! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! No, no. So listen, you go to sleep now. I want story. What? Story. What? I want a story. Well, we haven't got time for the story. Story. No, no, we haven't got time. I want a story! Okay. Okay. All right, I'm really sorry. If I tell you a quick story, you promise me you go to sleep straight away. <laughs> this is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood? Yeah, shh. shh. She was walking through the woods on the way to her granny's house when all of a sudden out jumped a big bad wolf. Wolf? Yes, a nasty <laughs> one with big horrible teeth. No, don't like it. No, but it's part of the story. Don't like that one. No, but it has to be. Don't like it. OK. <laughs> change it. All right. <laughs> OK, I'll change it. What, what, what do you want me to change it to? Duck. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is with the story, it won't work as a story if it's a duck. I want a duck! OK. OK. It wasn't a big bad wolf. No. It was a big bad, um, duck. Big bad duck? <laughs> yeah. No. Fluffy yellow duck. Little Red Riding Hood was really frightened. Why?
Well, because she wouldn't be frightened of a fluffy yellow duck, would she? No. Hence, you've done it again and my story doesn't work. You keep doing this to my story. Do not. You keep making me put ducks in them. Duck! They don't work as stories when there are ducks in them. Duck! What about yesterday's? Goldilocks and the three ducks. Duck! Snow White and the seven ducks. Duck! Why do you keep saying duck? <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is fun for the whole family. This is a big family show, and you're a big family act. How many other puppets have you got? I have, I have a couple more. But there's more to me than, than what you've seen so far. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> she wants to see your puppets. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> Gosh. Well, I just think that your material is really, really clever. And you do make us believe like they're real, they're really two people on the stage. You're very, very good. You know, you're a cartoon come to life. I felt like I was watching a great cartoon. You and this baby and this dialogue is so fabulous. You're going to be a main contender. I mean, I don't think there's anyone sitting in this room right now who doesn't believe that you're not going to be in the top five. It was wonderfully orchestrated. The joke telling was great. You made a grown man feel like he was a kid. And I just felt myself just laughing. And I felt joy. And I want that feeling. And I want everybody to feel that feeling of joy. So I love comedy and I love you. So I just want to compliment Marlon on his choice because I feel like we've got a great guy in you. That's such a talent. What a gift you have. So I, I'm speechless now, and um, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> There's all six of us. It just got real. I love that my guest judge pick a comedian. I'm, uh, come on, I love comedy. Yes. I know. I love it. <laughs> you still speechless? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm totally speechless. That was just amazing. Thank you. Who is going to win this year? I mean, seriously, we've got some great strongest comedy year ever. <laughs> My name is Paul Zerdin. I am 42 years old, originally from England, and I'm a ventriloquist. I am so excited to be here in New York. I'm going to do all the tourist stuff. Everything is just enormous. In a city this big, thank goodness I've got a buddy with me. Excuse me, I wonder, would you mind just taking a quick, quick photograph, please, of me and my friend? As a kid, ventriloquism kind of helped hide my shyness because I had a reason to talk to people. Uh, and with puppets, you can definitely say a lot more than you could yourself. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, it works out. There was always someone else there to kind of share the blame. But I've been performing for a while now, and I, I definitely feel more confident when I'm on stage. I love comedy, and I love you. But you know, Radio City Music Hall. It's, a, it's one of the biggest venues in the world. It, the pressure really is on. It is the big one. But fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how exciting it is to be here at live at Radio City. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sam and I have had a bit of an argument, and he's not talking. Oh, come on, Sam. Look, this is embarrassing. There's no point me being, being a ventriloquist if you're not going to talk. Oh, you started it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Did, didn't, did. That. Look, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't talk. Yeah, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't eat. <laughs> Listen, any more from you, and I have to get myself a new dummy. Howie, you're wanted. <laughs> right. I haven't got time for this. You're going back in the bag. I don't want to. What? I don't want to. I don't care if you don't want to. Get in the bag. I don't want to. I don't want to. Read your lips. <laughs> oh, look. What? There are people up 
Hello. Hi, hello. Are you okay? Jump. Right, too far. What are you doing? No, sorry, that's just too far, Sam. I'm sorry. You're always trying to make me look stupid. Yeah, no, you need help. If you think you can do better on your own, then you're very welcome. I can. Oh, really? Yes, really. OK, well, this I have got to see. All right. Here's your microphone. There's the audience. And there are the judges. Good luck. And don't get buzzed. I'm good, how are you? I am good, thank you, Howard. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you been drinking tonight? Absolutely not. No, then why the hell are you talking to a puppet? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Quick, he's coming back. <laughs> See how far you got? Ladies and gentlemen, please do not get caught up in the world of make-believe. He is, after all, only a puppet. <laughs> That's all from me. Good night. Paul Zoni! Everybody on their feet here in Radio City. Heidi's still standing. Great job. Heidi, talk to him. purist, call me a purist, but I do like it the old-fashioned way. I love when you're next to the puppet, because when you go away, I can't see your lips, and the whole reason for ventriloquism is that you see the lips moving, but you are... No, all jokes aside, he's coming out of the back. All jokes aside, you are the best ventriloquist I have ever seen. All right. Stop it. Stop the madness. Favorite act of the night, best thing you ever did was walking off the stage. Unbelievable. You are such a great ventriloquist. When that puppet goes in the bag, you even change your voice to a muffled voice. Walking off the stage was Gene Yus. Yes. Favorite act of the night. I love him too. Heidi. I did say I love him too, but everyone was great. Heidi, I love your dress, but I don't know what you're talking Shoot about. <laughs> everyone was I... so loud. I did say you are the best ventriloquist I have ever seen, but everyone was booing so loud. So Every... I didn't hear that. Heidi got the biggest boos of the night, but she said you're the best ventriloquist she's ever seen. Yeah. Everyone love you to vote for Paul. I Hit the phone to get online. You got until 12 noon Eastern tomorrow. Coming up, an incredible young singer gets her shot. <laughs> Can she get you voting? Find out when we come back. That's pretty good. <laughs> Everybody talking last time he was here. Can he go even bigger tonight? He's Paul Zerdy. I need a hot dog. I want one too. Okay, then we'll get two hot dogs. How many? Yes, I want one. Okay, you can have one as well. I'll have two, please. Yes, can we have two? I don't two boys. <laughs> two voices? Yeah. No. I don't know what you're talking about. He's talking about me. I'm spending all my time rehearsing for America's Got Talent. <laughs> I've been practicing so much, sometimes I feel like I'm kind of losing control. You're not losing control. I'm not losing control. You're in control. I'm in control. Complete control. Complete control. Do you want the salmon? No. You don't want the salmon? No. Sorry, you're right with you. Uh, you don't want the salmon? No. I am spending way too much time talking to myself. I love ventriloquism because I guess it's an excuse for me not to have to grow up. For my next performance, I'm not going to get complacent. Did you see a duck there? Duck. I'm going to raise the level and just absolutely Take it to the next level. You said level twice. I know I said level twice.
Thank you very much indeed. How many of you here tonight are ready to enter the land of make-believe? <laughs> Looks like Howie's already in the land of make-believe, which makes you the perfect person to join me up here on stage. Would you mind? Let's hear it for Howie Mandel, everyone. Yes, thank you. In your own time, Howie. I understand your logic. The longer, the longer you take, the shorter my act. I quite understand. Have a seat there, Howie. Tonight, live from Radio City, you are going to become a human ventriloquist dummy. OK, now all you have to do... All you have to do is keep looking out there, all right? Let me do all the talking, OK? And I've got to say, that's a pretty good fit. By the way, uh, this is Charlie. Are you okay, Charlie? Yes, thank you. <laughs> First of all, we've got to find you a voice, something that matches your physical appearance, something butch, something macho. Are you okay? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shocked me. It shocked me. I was only joking. Do you want me to change the voice? No, no, I like it. OK. I want to say hello to my fans. You want to say hello to this lot? Yes. Turn to the people on the right, give them a big wave, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Nicely done. Now the people on the left, say hi to them. Hiya. And now the people right up the top, give them a big sexy hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you see them waving back? Yeah, idiots. Now stop touching me. What? Get away. What? Stop touching me. What do you mean I'm not touching? Get away. OK, all right, all right. Is that far enough? Perfect. <laughs> hey, how are you doing that? I've got a little controller in my hand here. Oh, wow, that's amazing. He's got a controller. He can control me. Yes, that's right. Oh, now he can have some fun. I don't want to be a judge. No. I want to be an act. You want to be an act? Yes. You go and judge me. You want me to judge you? Yes, go and sit in my seat. I can't sit in your seat. No, no, I insist. Well, <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> Hello, fellow judges. Hi. Uh, it's great to be here. OK, so um, I can't believe I'm a judge on America's Got Talent. So um, what's your name? Well, my name is, um, my name, um, sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> My name is Howie. Hello. Good evening, Howie. And what are you going to do for us tonight? Tonight, I want to do my dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, you don't have to. No, no, I really want to. Yes. OK, so do you have some moves you'd like to show us? Oh, yes. Let me stand up, first of all. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> OK. First of all, I'd like to stretch. I'm going to do some stretching. I'll just stretch my arms like this. <laughs> and my legs like this. <laughs> OK, so now to business. OK, what are you going to do? I'm going to show you my twerking. <laughs> So, I turn around, I turn around, I put my hands on the seat, and I wiggle my butt. Um. Is that it? Oh, yes. Hang on. Let me turn around again. Yes. OK, so that was fantastic. Don't make me laugh, though. I can't make you talk when I laugh. <laughs> so what are you going to do for your performance this evening? Tonight, I'm going to do some Irish dancing. <laughs> really? Naked. <laughs> I, I really don't think this is the show for that. So uh, oh. when you're ready, the stage is yours. Cue the music. <laughs> Oh,
journey. Awesome job, everyone standing on their feet here in Radio City. Paul, you got them going, man. Heidi still laughing, still clapping. I take it you liked it. I mean, this was so much fun. My head hurts from laughing so hard. You are super clever and so much fun, and I love seeing Howie as a puppet. And I'm sure he appreciates it that you didn't put your finger up his, you know, who to do it like you usually do with your puppets. No, this was <laughs> hilarious. Thank you. Thank you very much. Melby. <laughs> oh my God, I don't think I've laughed so much and so hard. You're brilliant. You're absolutely brilliant, Paul. It's so Howie. So good. And you know what? <laughs> you look like an idiot. <laughs> Well, Howie, would you like to respond to that? Sometimes people aren't what they look like. I have, I have no idea. You humiliated me. Howie, you were... But I, we but I hear I was fantastic. You, you, were, you were absolutely... You, you were the perfect dummy. By You're the still way, judging, aren't you? By the way, you know, this, I have to say, yes, you will be the fifth act of the night to go oh. through. I've been handicapping all night. You are hands down fantastic. You will probably win this entire show. I really mean it. Every time we have seen you, you come out and you surprise us because your puppets are always original each time. And the voices are original and you're a master ventriloquist. I love you. Wow. We're running out of time, but to have such an amazing performance, I mean, how does it feel? Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm so excited, I'm so pleased, and, and you know how he had absolutely no idea that was going to happen. His reactions were absolutely genuine, and he did such a great job. Thank you so much, Howie. Howie twerking tonight. Good luck. Okay, America, it's over to you. Only five acts can go into the finals. Who do you want to make it? Voting closes at 7 a.m. Eastern tomorrow, so get to it tomorrow night. We reveal the last five finalists, and Acro Army and Little Mix will be here tearing up the stage. That's at 8, 7 Central. I'm at Nick Cannon. Good night, America. Sorry. I mean, I knew he was good, but the finals and America's got talent. Well, I didn't know he was that good. I can see why people like him. You know, good looking, intelligent. Oh, he's so talented. He's just a consummate professional. You know how they say don't work with kids or animals? Well, Paul does both. <laughs> and he's, a, he's brilliant. Paul is the greatest person I've ever known. In fact, he's the world's greatest person. <laughs> Triggers I've ever seen. He's one show away from winning a million dollars. My dream for Paul is that he gets everything he ever wanted. Now, no one deserves this more than him. He's just a saint, that one. Wait, hang on a minute. My shoulder's not in this, is it? You, you definitely can't see me in this, can you? Thank you very much, Janine. Great to be back here. This is Sam's grandpa, Albert. Albert, say hello. Albert, say hello. Sorry, he's very deaf. Have you got your hearing aid on, Albert? Is your hearing aid switched on? Is your hearing aid on? Have you switched your hearing aid on? Is your hearing aid on? Is your hearing aid switched on? Yes. Great. What? <laughs> Let me have a look. What's the ma oh, hang on, what's this? Albert, what is that? That was in your ear. What is it? No, what is it? Looks to me to be a suppository. A suppository? Oh, no, at least now I know where my hearing aid's got to. Do you know, I wondered why my butt was whistling earlier. Albert, what are you doing? Just turning it down. Stop it. It feels good. Stop it. Where are we? Sam, uh, Albert. Yes, it's Albert, you idiot. Yes, it's Albert. We're at Radio City. Radio City, who are they? They are the judges. Oh, I like her. Who's that? Hello? That's Heidi. Oh, I like her. Albert, don't be ridiculous. Hi. You're 85 years old. Ah, oh, yes, then I can give her something you younger men can't. And what's that? A good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm sorry. I hope he wasn't a nuisance. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, would you take Albert? I think he needs his medication. Oh, I like you. <laughs> Excuse me, are you all right? <laughs> song and sing song. I haven't got time for a song. Sing song.
song. Okay, all right, all right. If I sing you a quick lullaby, you promise me you go to sleep. Yeah? <clears throat> go to sleep, my baby, my baby, my baby. Pathetic. Would you please ignore him and welcome back my friend and hopefully yours. Yes, it's Sam. Sam, I thought tonight would be a lovely idea if we did this little trick. Just uh, watch me. Hmm? Watch me. Okay, tonight this is where the ventriloquist swaps voices with the puppet. A very difficult, dangerous trick for a ventriloquist to attempt. Vocally very challenging and generally pretty tricky. You can really feel the tension. Okay, for this to work, you've just got to do anything. You've just got to keep talking. You could do the ABC. Oh, yes, I could, yes. Oh, yes, I could. Oh, yes! If this was Sesame Street! <laughs> you dummy! You speak for yourself. I wish I could. Just do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Wow. It's weird. Yeah. Normally they applaud there. Not tonight. No, obviously. <laughs> no, no, it's too late now. No, no. It's too late. Stop it. Should I swap them back? Yes. Pardon? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Quick. I've got it. Good. Now what? Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, poo. Where's my voice? I don't know. Where is it? I don't know. Help me, please. Somebody help me. I'm down here. Please. Somebody help me, please. Help me, please. <laughs> You're talking out your... Ah, oh, Zerdin, Zerdin, there you are. <laughs> Is that it? Is that all I get? 30 seconds in your little puppet show? Shh, you'll wake the baby. I don't care. Shh. <laughs> What you done? Shh. Are you shushing me? No. He's shushing the baby. I'm not shushing the baby. I'm shushing you. Don't you shush me. I will shush you. Uh, me? No. Uh, yes, shush. In, in fact, all of you, why don't you just shush? Hang on. Why don't you shush? Yes. Why don't you shush? Hang on a minute. Why should I shush? Because you're the one doing all our voices. Yeah. 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 Yeah? Well, in which case, good night. Quite amazing, Paul Zerny, having several conversations with his crew. Mr. Mandel, talk to him. Well, Paul, you know that I absolutely love you, and you can tell by the, uh, the reaction here that America loves you, the theater loves you, the, you know, and, and I love the technology and the fact that you have this remote control, and I love what you did with me last week. If there is one thing that, just a little bit that I feel, it's that the, there's not a vast array of different, difference in your voices. It sounds like you have one voice. What about nine? That's the only thing that bothers me, but otherwise, I love the act. Thank you. Howard. Well, I think this is the final, and there's a reason Paul breathes through every single time he came on, because he is a master at what he does. In the same way that painters can be great, singers can be great, here's a guy, as I've said before, he's taken the art of ventriloquism to new heights. You don't see his lips move. You believe his characters. And he even tonight showed off a bit all of his powers by bringing all of these characters on stage at once. We've seen a real master at work. Hi. Tonight was great and probably the hardest for you because you had to swap voices between four different characters, including yourself, and you really pulled it off. Oh, great thank job. You. Thank you, thank you. Mel B. You know, you are already a well-polished act. You're flawless, and I hope America votes for you, because I think you're great. Thank you. Great job, Paul. How do you think it went, Albert? I thought it went marvelously. I loved every moment. I'm going to buy myself a new suitcase in Nevada. 
Awesome job. Good luck tonight. Any one of the acts could win. It is so open. You can vote until 7 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. And if you're voting by phone, calls are toll-free from landline. So get busy. And